Hello and welcome to episode 56 of Die War 20's 1.16 mod pack. Alright, so we got all this crap working last time and so we're producing a ton of stuff. This is how much we've made so far, 1.8 thousand. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do plastic. Now, plastic, we have to throw the bucket on the ground or put that in there and it will turn into plastic. Not great. Uh, however, we should be able to put these down using a destructor and a constructor. Now, if I can remember rightly, we should be able to put a constructor in place um, and it will work. So let's put uh, now a constructor. If I put it down this way, will it go this way or do I need to be this? Okay, I need to be opposite. So I need to put putting a block here and then putting that against the block there we go all right so we've got our constructor and we're going to flip that to fluids and we're going to put molten plastic in the fluid so we don't have any speed upgrades but a bucket should be sufficient uh, what we then need to be able to do is obviously hook off of here so let's run our cabling through the floor to here and then what we should see is that now we can just stand here and collect plastic that's fine however that's not great for us every time we walk past uh, and it will do that so I think what we'll do is we'll move this downstairs uh, because otherwise the magnet is just going to get in the way and yeah Plus, you know, if we put it down here, we can keep it out of the way. It'll still work, we just keep it out of the way. Uh, so let's knock out this, just to give ourselves a little bit nicer room down here. Uh, again, it's something else we need to piss around with. Um, okay, let's put the torch back down over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the corner over here. We're going to go down a couple more levels. Um, purely because I just don't want our magnet to be the bit that really gets in the way. So, if we do it down here, then we shouldn't have any issues. So, we are going to first open this up and chuck the crap that we don't need in there. Perfect. All right, cool. So we've got all, we've got that stuff, right? So what we need is we need our constructor. Uh, we don't need a destructor for this, which is good. So let us get our marble and we're going to put just, we're going to probably get a couple of, the, will we get a couple of these? Do we need a couple of these? I don't, don't think we actually do. I think one would be more than sufficient and I'm still on three by three, aren't I? That would be why I'm destroying the floor. Again. For Christ's sake. Let's get some diorite. There we go. Right. Let's try and rebuild the floors. Because that might help. Right. We'll put a block of diorite in there. We'll put a constructor there. And then we can always make more of these. So we've got enough room to make a couple of these ones. And let's be able to get out. So that'll be cool. Alright. What we'll do is we'll run the cabling up like so just run it up to the ceiling and then across like that there we go and then on here we'll set this to fluid again and we'll set this to a bucket of molten plastic and we'll set it to not that many but just one there we go and then what we're going to do temporarily because I want to be able to see whether this is going to pick itself up so we're going to take our magnet and we're going to turn it off. Oh. And then we're going to take this thing and turn it off. And now we shouldn't be attracting it. Now we need something to pick it up. So now we need a hopper. Um well do we need a hopper or we need we need some kind of advanced item collector. Funnily enough, there is an advanced item collector there. Now, we can use the same one as we did upstairs. Well, don't we have one? Don't we have an ender one? 
An ender hopper vacuum ups nearby items and puts them in an inventory. Let us see if that one would be good. And we'll get another one of the ender chests because we can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it. So if we were to have two, the second one would be there. So I'm going to place it here and I'm going to do that. And then there we go. All right. So that will pick up. There we go, perfect. So that's going to vacuum up the stuff that it's producing. So that's going to quite happily sit there and produce. And this is going to be there. Now, we're going to stop this at some point. So we need an item. Uh, we need an item. No, it's not an item. It's from refined. There we go, detector, sorry. So we need a detector. We're going to shove a detector right down next to it. And we're going to say plastic when it hits, I don't know if we'll need 3,000. So if we need, if it's greater than 3,000, emit the signal. And then this guy, we're going to tell, eh, only work without a redstone signal. So when it gets above 3,000, it will shut off. We can put a second one here and they can both work together. Uh, however, our plastic needs, if we go back to here, Plastic. We're already up to a hundred. No, a hundred and sixty. That's pretty good. That's that's not bad. I'm happy with that. Do I want to put a second one down here while I'm here? Yes, I do. So let's set up a second one. We might as well. We have the resources to do it. So let's put a constructor here, and we'll set this to fluid and that and one of these. And the good thing is, if there's a block in the way, it won't work. So that is always cool. Uh, and we'll take that. And then that should be, start doing that. And then that should be, hop it up. There we go. So the good thing is, because they're next to each other and that item detector is right there, I am going to put in just... To be on the safe side, I'm going to put a cable so it's on the top of the hopper, but a top of the item detector. Um, so yeah, just as long as that's there, because they're next to each other, they will both receive a redstone signal. So I'm going to make this sure this is only work without a redstone signal. Now, when that emits a signal, the plastic will stop. So if we go over to here and say at 300, I want you to stop. And then if we watch, we should see. We're almost at 300. Getting there. And we're over 300 now. Now they've both stopped. The items have both been collected and we're good. So I am going to set this to 3000 because I want enough in there that I don't need to worry about it ever again. So, right, let's get back up here. And because this is far enough away, we shouldn't suck it up. There we go. It should be far enough away that we won't have to worry about it being sucked up into the system, into our thing. There we go. See, even if we walk over here, we are not close enough to attract it. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Right. So now we have all of the bits and pieces that we require. Right. So we've got the plastic. We have. So now we can make PCBs. Right. So that is still there. So PCB is uh, so a blank one in the pressure chamber is one piece of plastic, three gold nuggets, and two redstone torches. Now I'm going to put a chest on the top here. Uh, do we want to? No, we want to make sure that that stuff is there. So we want a chest. So let's get another chest. Uh, that's our fluid one. We don't need that one. So let's get another chest there. And we'll place this chest on top. And what we're going to do is we're going to place our items in there. So we know we need plastic. And we need double everything else. So 32 plastic. We need gold. So we're going to get 64 gold nuggets. We also need redstone torches. And I think I'll talk the system how to do those. So that'll be cool. Just whack in a few of them. There we go, and we should be there. So now, when we have a look at plastic, uh, or not plastic, but PCB, we should have all the items to make them, right? Yeah, so two redstone, oh, three gold nuggets. So we need 32 times three. So 
we need another half a stack of gold nuggets, which is fine. Right there. So, what we should be able to do is drop all the items in here, and they should be fed into the system quite happily. He says. There we go. So, 32 plastic is about to be injected in. Sweet. And then... Okay, so now it's loading up the gold nuggets. Okay, so the pressure went down when we open those things. Alright, so it only loses pressure when that stuff gets injected, which makes sense. And I'm guessing that it will lose pressure when it comes out. So it's going to lose a little bit of pressure because when you close it, there's going to be pressure still in this part of the system. So when you open it to the outside world, you're going to lose a little bit. So we don't need to worry because we need two bar of pressure for that. So we should be good, but we will always top it up afterwards. So that's some of the gold nuggets. Yep. So some of the gold nuggets. And then we've got some of these redstone torches going in now. So we'll see that and that will inject in. And then that should start creating some of the basics. Now, I'm not sure whether any of the, yeah, so that's the crafted items coming out. So we should be good. Yeah, there's nothing coming out yet. So that should be all the items in there. Um, we've got some more gold nuggets going in, so maybe that's... There we go. Look at that. We've got our empty PCBs coming out. Nice. All right, so the rest of the items are in there. They will then be changed, and they be put into the system, and now they're being output. That is pretty cool that means you got it we can automate that that is so cool we can automate it we need a little bit more pressure so let's bump up the pressure again but that means we can automate that system because all we have to do is just put an export on here which is a crafting recipe so a crafter here and then we need to just put uh, an import on here and then we'll just import these directly into the system. That is cool. So that means now we need a UV light box to translate it into that one. So we need a UV light box. Then we need an etching tank with acid. Now acid, I saw it. I saw the acid. Etching acid is pressure chamber. Oh, look, fluid encapsulation, etching acid, yeah. So, gunpowder, bucket of molten plastic, rotten flesh, and spider eye. And one pressure, one bar will give me one bucket of etching acid. So, that's another thing that we can do. Right, what are you up to? You're up to 2.38, so that's fine. So, we've got to watch out what we put in there now, because obviously we need to make sure that the pressure doesn't go too low so that we can't make stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, so we need, we've got the etching tank, so we need the acid for that, and we need some heat. Um, we need, so the, the other thing that we need, obviously, is uh, we've got a bucket of molten plastic. We need, let's see how much that fills up that tank, to be honest. So we need spider eye, which I think, yeah, we've got some. So we need two of, let's just get a couple of those. Um, rotten flesh. Oh, we got enough of that. Uh, what else was it? It was in the pressure tank. Rotten flesh, brighter eye, gunpowder. Gunpowder is always the one we've got a problem with. Because we use gunpowder everywhere. Uh, let's go outside to our little thing. Go under here. We should have some gunpowder in here, probably quite a bit, because I've left it. Yeah, we got quite a bit. All right, so we can take some gunpowder. The rest of this I'm going to put into the system. Um, I just don't know whether I should yet or not. I should really, because that will help. Uh, all right, let's do this. Let's just grab a couple. You know what? I can always turn it off after. 
So let's go underneath and we'll just hook this up quickly. Uh, and we'll go like so. There we go. And that should start importing, which it is. And then that should also support, start transporting it across to the other system. So I'm going to take a couple more of these and I'm going to put them in my backpack. Uh, just so when I need them, I've got it. But the rest of that can just start importing. I mean, it, it's pointless. It's just sitting there. So we might as well use it. All right, let's get back in here and let's get back to what we were doing. So we want acid now. So the acid is produced with the molten. Now we can also automate this because we can automate the production of the is that okay so we're up to 2.5 bar right so we've got one of these two of these two of these and two of these yeah I'll put one more in there so two 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 and another bucket of molten plastic like so and then what we should do is they should go in there convert and should come out there is that right yep I can hear it it popped and it's coming out there we go etching acid all right so we'll put the etching acid in there all right so it's almost so this will hold four buckets. All right, that's not too bad, actually. That ain't too bad. I'm not that pissed at that, to be honest. I am, however, going to put a whole another one in. Two of them, two of them, and two of them. We'll put two more of them, two more of them. Oh, shit. And two more of them. Actually, we'll do another three buckets. There we go, number three buckets. That should give us our second bucket of etching acid. Oh, okay, second bucket of etching acid once it's finished. Don't go, no, it didn't go down too low, so that's good. Um, oh, it's up there. Okay, so we need to get it out of there and put it down there. I did say that I was going to use the... Uh, other things, didn't I? I was going to use um, item pipes from mechanism. Mechanical, no fluid. Advanced logistical, there we are. We're going to use these. Uh, so I'll do that, that down into there. And then I need to put that away and I need to get that thing there we go four buckets we only need three so sweet all right now you are full you need heat so you need one of these and you also need pcbs and i'm pretty sure it's just pcbs to go all right they need to go into uv light box first so we need to make a uv uh, hang on we need to make a thing to make a uv light box. Oh, for christ's sake i knew it wasn't gonna be that simple was it all uh, right uv light box will give us a hundred percent chance but we need to make a pcb blueprint in which case we need to go and find a pneumatic craft or we need to make one of these which is one of these which is an air canister and a gps tool so the air canister is very simple if we had all the pieces so let's have uh that's new uh, we've got an air canister so that's cool so if we had more of these and where's that tablet -y type thing 
Where is it? Because it said I can get it from there. Where's the tablet -y thing? Crap. Why can't I see it? Am I being thick? Probably. But, I mean, I know there. Yeah, that was probably a rhetorical question, to be honest. Uh, am I being thick? Mm hmm. You are. I need to make a UV thing, which means I need one of these blueprints, or I need it from here. And then I need to make that, you need all this crap. I've got an air canister. To make a GPS tool, you just need to do that. So I can make a GPS tool. To get one of these, I need to make an air canister with this, which I can make. So now I'm good. Now, what's this? Right, so right click an inventory to allow provide on the phone sort of fluids to vendors, right? Okay. Use and all the trades delivers via drones, which is more awesome than villages. Pick up drop up locations, maybe special for right click an inventory and or tank or tank the tablet. Okay. Don't have any pressure. Hmm. They're used to order similar to video training set transfers to drones with my walls on the videos pick up drop Okay, that's fine, but LPG one emerald okay. One emerald eight emeralds give us that. That's all fine. Not enough pressure. And do I put it in there? No. So how do I give it pressure? Didn't really quite think this through, did I? Mm. All right, read the manual. What's that thing called? An Amadron tablet. Okay, so let's go search for that. Uh, where's the search? History, reuse it, for Christ's sake, what's the search? Entry index, there we go, Amazon tablet, right, Amazon, da, 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 da. yep, yeah, okay, we get that. Yep, got that. Got that. The tablet geo is smart enough to figure out what you can buy, okay. When then you order the resources, a drone will spawn to collect the resources you're paying with. Once drone collection is complete, a second drone will arrive to deliver the purchase items. That's kind of cool. Um, like a piece of people, uh, this is the way you get other, oh, yeah, okay. It also adds random village trades. These trades are reshuffled daily, right, okay. By clicking the custom player trade button on the custom trade side tab, you can offer your own resources. All right, that's cool. Um, you can also specify GUI, you can specify locations, right. Add to trade, Amazon general normal offers, no unlimited stock. You must add your own resources, right? Other players can now accept. Crafting. Right. Creating. But how do I give it? Hmm. Maybe it's an advanced one. Stone base. I mean, what's that for? That looks like a. To be honest, that looks like you would put the tablet on it. So I'm going to give it a go and maybe create a stone base. Ooh, charging station. Maybe I could just do one of them instead. Uh, yeah, maybe that's the the thing that I needed to do. A charging station. I don't know where the hell I got the charging station from, but um. We have one, so that's kind of cool. I know it's steal. Well, it's not actually stealing. This is producing pressure for that, but this is giving us pressure there. Right. So we're we've got all the stuff coming out of here that we need. We've got one more in there, which is fine. This thing needs some pressure and some heat. So we need another vortex tube, another air compressor, and we'll manually do that. So we need another vortex tube, 
So another vortex like that. So we need one of those. We need another couple of tubes. So what are these called? These are pressure tubes. So we'll get some of those. Yeah, cool. Uh, we need another compressor. Uh, another basic compressor. Uh, we need some more of those. So we need some more reinforced. All right, let's go back to. No. Let's just go there. Uh, what ones do I need? I need these. So can I have some more of those, please? Thank you. Nice one. Awesome. Sweet. So that's that. Uh, compressor is on the next page. Yeah, there we go. There's the vortex. Oh, I need a heatsink. I need a compressor. Where's the compressor? There's the compressor. So I need one of them. And then I need some inventory space because now I'm running out again. Uh, right, so we've got gunpowder. We've got that. Right, so I could just throw all of that in there and make some etching acid, but I'm not going to. So I don't think that's the right thing to do. Um, I think I will put those in there just in case we need them again in a minute. Uh, right, so this stuff, so we need one of these. So we're gonna go over this side and we're gonna do it from here. So we are gonna go, you need to be that way because you need to heat this side, but you need to vent air or make it colder this side. Uh, and then we need to power you and you so we need to power you and you. Oh. Can I not power you like that? Or do you not need power? You just need heat. Oh, okay. And then we don't need to power you, do we? Uh, however, what we will do is put you down here. Sweet. Uh, we need a safety valve. We need a safety valve, which we need one of these and one of these. So we get a safety valve. We'll put that on top. So don't want this ship blown up. We are going to need an exporter into the side. A couple of cables down here, like so. We are going to get one piece of coal. And we're going to get 32 pieces of coal. We are going to put you on like that and shove you in there like that. Right, you are going and cooking on gas. That's cool. Right, you are heating up, so that's fine. You are now heating up. Sweet. All right, cool. So now we just need to, for you, uh, and what we are going to do is we're going to put you on a high signal and we're going to give you a lever. Don't want you blowing up. So I want to be able to turn you off. Like so. Alright, so we'll turn you on for the moment. Right, you're good. You're heating up. That shouldn't take too long. You're already at 47 degrees, 48 degrees, 50 degrees. Nice. We need etching time 150 seconds and the temperature needs to be high enough to do the etching. So... I don't know if one of them, like, this item does not despawn. Etch chance success is 0%. Okay. But how do I get an etch chance of anything else? So I can use these machines or create a UV light box and pressure and insert an MCV. Speed upgrades are recommended to press and be rather slow. So that I can request in a minute. That requires lamps and all kind of other shit. So I need this, basically. So let's go and get our tablet. All right, it's partly charged. All right, so I right click it. Sweet. <laughs> all right, so if I get some emeralds, like so, and then I go, right, I want a blue thing. Uh, I want, oh look, you can get like all this stuff as well, mana weaving patterns and everything, that's cool. Um, not that I need that right now, I need one of these, so can I have one of them? All of the items in the basket, a drone will come, yeah, and I, I kind of guessed that. But I need to be able to order it. 
Um, I'm a drone. No. PCB. Yeah, I want that. Right click is plus one. No item inventory. Right click in inventory with your Amadron. Right, okay. So I need to get a... Well, can I do it? No, I don't really want to do it here because that will insert into there. So what I want to do... Is that a drone? Uh, what I want to do is put it down here somewhere. There we go. That's the one I want it to go to. And then I can go boom. And then I can place an order for a PCB, right? So if I go right click on that, which is out of items to sell, your order has been capped, add more items to the bound inventory if needed. Oh. There we go. Now we've got access. There we go. Now we've got access. So we want one of them. What else do we want? Because there's some stuff in here. Turbine blades. Oh, that's cool. We can get some of them. Uh, assembly program drill. Assembly crew program drill and laser. All right, that's cool. I don't think we need them right now, do we? But that's always a good thing to know that that's where we can get those two. Um, and I'm guessing that there's more. So let's place an order there. And let's see if the drones can fly through walls. They can, they just magically appear. He's pissing off with my money. <laughs> and he's gone. Okay, so they are magical drones. They can fly through walls. Here comes the drone. And it dropped off the PCB. That is so cool. I want them. I want drones. Those are awesome. <laughs> they are really cool. I want them. All right, let's go to uh, a UV. Let's go and create one of these UV light boxes. Uh, we need some of those. We need some redstone lamps. So for that, we need glowstone. So let's get some glowstone and then we get some redstone lamps. We only need three. So we'll get three and we'll get that. And now we've got a light box. Sweet. All right. So we've got this thing over here, which is 170 degrees at the moment. That thing there, that is on 102 that one's cooking fine that one's fine so we need another one of them we need another one over here that's what we need so we're going to dig into the wall because this is where i want to put it we are going to fill in the wall because that's what i don't want to see we're not going to fill in all of it. We're going to fill in some of it. There we go. All right. So now we're going to put the light box here. Now the light box requires those, obviously, one at a time. Really, us? Oh, ah, what a fuck. Well, it's all right. We'll 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 sort something out with that. Um. Right. Pressure. It does require pressure. So it requires what? Was it one? Create light bulb pressure. This one. This one. Nope. Well, we've already created these, but it's this. Insert an MTB. Speed upgrades are recommended. Slow. Provide pressure and insert. Right. So we're going to provide pressure. So we're going to get ourselves another compressor. Because, you know, that's what we do. Because we don't have masses of empty pressure. So we'll do this here, this here. Let's um, break this and we'll put it this way around because it looks better then, see? Connects then. Uh, right, so that's that one. We'll shove one of these empty ones in there for the time being. We now need to give this a lever and a lever and some coal. And we also need to hook it up to an export bus. So we'll get our export bus. Where are we? Exporter. So we'll do that here. We'll put our lever down. We'll turn you to only be on, on a high signal. And then we'll dump coal in you. We'll take one back. OK, 
because we need to we forgot to set this up so we'll do that and we'll do an export and that should be fine throw that back in there all right so that should be good we should be able to just run the cables back there and under yeah under would be fine so we'll go under here and up across here we need to miss that because I want to do some funky stuff there so we will do this instead with this one there we go and then that should start filling up that's cool and then you should now be on so you should producing there we go you should be right so the needle moved so it's producing don't know what that means but we're going to leave it a hundred percent for now so it's under the light box we need to provide it in one side and out the other max pressure is five bar so we need a safety uh, just in case safety valve so we need a valve and then a safety valve don't want to blow up all our machines like I did the last time right so that should be good so you're providing a pressure that the UV light is on and it's very very fucking slow um all right so when we get one we should be able to import so we're going to export into the system here with these and then we're going to import into the system with the other with those but we're going to wait until this one has got 100 percent and it's here then we'll put that one on the uh, on there so that should be good right so those we need some speed upgrades apparently so let's go find out what a speed upgrade will cost us uh let's have a look so if we go back here there was something about upgrades um components was it components lubricant was for speed upgrades right yeah that was for speed upgrades so crafting speed upgrades it requires lubricant well that's slippery stuff fair enough okay so it's created in a thermonuclear plant with diesel and redstone so biodiesel and redstone pretty much like we craft the other crap so pretty much like we craft this stuff from biodiesel and charcoal it's just biodiesel and redstone so we need to copy this across over here and we can get that one done you are half done okay um I mean, obviously, as we go through and we get a better, we get better ones of these pumps and stuff. Um, it's going to be a lot better, like pressure-wise, because we'll be able to regulate it a little bit more. So you know, we'll be able to provide pressure along the whole system with the advanced pipes, um, and then we can regulate, you know, just how much pressure is going to each, each machine and stuff. I'm guessing. I don't know. I haven't really used this this far still very cool though very very cool so we basically need to replicate that setup so we need a vortex tube and you know we need the basics basically so we need a vortex so we need one of them and we need a compressor again which is one of those uh, which we now need bricks for compress oh no right. for god's sake uh, compress that's not compressed. So let's go new Matacraft. There we go. All right, let's get a bunch of them. Um, because we got a bunch of those because we we basically built them in stacks. So we got quite a few of them. So that's good. All right. So there's those. Right now, can I have a compressor? Or are you going to give me a reason why I can't? Oh, that one looks good. Electrostatic. I want one of them. That one looks cool lightning but then i kind of like this one flux compressor because i've got so much energy i can just do it how much is that going to cost oh. we need these first okay let's uh pipe dreams and go and get one of the whoa okay so that's that's cool just venting off the pressure which is what it should do. 
didn't think it was going to get up to that pressure that quick though. Alright, so what are you on now? You're still on 4... You're on 4.91 and you're holding steady because you're still burning coal because you just started a cycle and I didn't catch you quick enough. Alright, so you're bleeding off that... So that's fine. So you're going to keep going because you're alright. But you're not going to tip into the red right now. So we're going to leave you be. We've turned you off, so you're good. Right, we need a... Comp In fact, actually, we don't need a pro compressor. If this is doing that... We could, in theory, run this thing, right? So if I put it down that way, and then put, uh, what did we need? Oh, we needed another one of those things, didn't we? What are they called? Uh, what are they called? They're called a thermopneumatic, blah, 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 blah. A thermopneumatic thing. One of these. Bollocks. Uh, we need two of these. Cool. And we need the slabs, don't we? All right, just enough. Sweet. All right, we'll get one of those. That'll go down there. That we don't really... I oh, shouldn't really have put that back on, but anyway. Um, oh, shit, that needs to go sideways. So we need to turn this whole thing this way. And we're going to put it here. And here. There we go. So you're going to heat up. You're going to be good. You are going to start the heating process. There we go. And you are going to be put back on. Uh, you need a heat sink. To be more efficient. That's what the book said. Look at me getting really good looking at the book. Um, you are... Huh, you're doing pretty well actually. Uh, right, we need to... Imp right, so we could import or export some shit from you. Right, how are you doing? You're still shit. Right, okay, so you can export into the here. And what do we need to export? Biodiesel. So let's... Can't jump! Stuff a bit me. Right. Oh, for Christ's sake. I don't want that. I want that. Biodiesel. There we are. One of, one of them. And we'll go... That, that. And that should fill you up not filling you up because oh you are not connected hmm because I'm waiting for this to come out so that then I can import in you know why don't I just turn you off I only work with a redstone signal now I can hook you up and like so Ta -da. and then you'll leave that alone but fill no you won't fill that up bastard um, oh because you're still not connected no mm, dickhead Right, that's exporting into there, so that's cool. You also require redstone, don't you? Yes, you do. Do you import from the top? I'd love to say yes, but I don't know. Do you import from the top? Yes, you do. Nice. All right, cool. So you're good. You're good. I don't... To be honest, I don't really need the speed... Well, I do need the speed upgrades. I need the stack upgrade definitely in this one. So that will just fill. Yep, there we go, done. Right, and then we can import the lubricant from here. And there's only one other thing that I want to do. And that is, I don't want too much lubricant. I do, I do want it, but I don't want too much. So... Let's do this. One of those. And we need to go over to here. We are going to put the water and the and the bucket back in there. And we're going to get lubricant. Where's lubricant? Lubricant isn't in here. Why isn't lubricant in here? Because I haven't switched that to import fluids. Nice idiot okay so let's go and get some I don't want brine I want lubricant give me lubricant that one all right so I want lubricant oh, born slippery uh, and then what I want to do is put this down here and I want to say look when we get over I don't know 150 buckets so let's do this wow 
100 buckets because why not there we go boom done emit a redstone signal when you're over that amount and that should turn you off because you are going to be set to only work without a redstone signal and then you should be good or what I could do is be smart and enable on a low signal and actually move this so that it's here and then we can link that up oh, for Christ's sake we need more cable there we go give us some more cables right boom and then what I can do is I can say look when you're over a hundred thousand when you're over a hundred thousand and it's that then turn emit a red zone signal yep and then you are low signal is enabled on so once you get above that you should be good right you are working at 0.98 you are working at one bar you are also working at one bar but you keep blinking out because you're no uh, you need too much more pressure all right so what i'll do is i'll put a second one of you down let's give you a second compressor uh, Could be better when I've got more generators, well, the better generators that should help. So we're going to put you here so that we can put an exporter, uh, the last exporter, we need to make some more. Uh, and we need coal. All right, so, there we go. so we'll put you on there with a stack upgrade. You are going to be on with a high signal and I'm going to need a lever going to need a lever okay you can go on there and you can be turned on you are just waiting for coal so let's get you some there we go and then you're good okay so you should build up the pressure and we're going to put a safety valve right there so that nothing breaks or blows up so let's get a couple of these and we'll get a couple of the ooh, pipes get a couple of pipes and then a couple of them perfect all right so we're going to put the safety valve there so now any way in the system whatever builds up it will not do it all right so you're good with 1.14 you're good with that now you should be working continuously sweet all right now we just need to wait for that one thing to work 96 percent. now they did say it takes a while now how do you make a speed upgrade so i'm guessing that it's a all right so it's a base upgrade this is speed upgrade and this is two speed upgrades okay so what's the drop of glycerol gly and sugar glycerol glycerol yeah uh so we need lapis sugar and lubricant all right that's not that bad actually because we should have sugar yep there we go so we've got we've got some sugar um we should have lapis obviously in the system so now we should be able to do a speed upgrade which is this one like so nice all right so we should be able to do a second one uh actually i need that one there uh, where are we? Lubricant. We've already got a hundred buckets of lubricant. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, so that's two. How many can this fit? Four. All right, so let's just. Wow, they stack. All right, they stack apparently. You don't export in, or do you only export? No, you don't export in. Oh. Might have to think about this then. Oh, you might export in if I put any in the system. There we go. So you are going to be export out and you're only going to do a whitelist of these items. So that should. Now, if we get some more speed upgrades, uh, where's the lubricant? There we are. 
if we grab a, bu a few buckets of lubricant and then we'll get a couple more upgrades I'll teach this to the system because I'm not doing this every time. This is annoying. Um, I'll do that next time. I'll do that for next time, should I say. And then we can just request it and be done with it. Uh, right, so that's that. So we'll chuck all those back in there. And then what we will do is go over to here and throw all those in there. All right, so more lubricant, more speed means more pressure, which means break that so that we're not splitting the pressure. Now, is one enough for you? No, it isn't. Is five enough? No, it still comes out. So four? Two is okay. Three? Four. four is going down you can see it going down so three can you handle three three is going up slightly oh, piss all right that's you know what that still is a lot quicker than we were ha we had it so I'm not that concerned plus we can always throw in another upgrade when this starts whistling we're throwing another upgrade there this thing's just going to run like the other one i mean the temperature that it's got up to though is quite insane um oh oh yes we might need to stop it because this temperature is going up because this is still being fed we don't need it to do anything while we've got so much stuff in the system so we could turn this off so we haven't got any redstone cables but we have got those redstone things so what I'll do is I'll link up the redstone signal thing to over here so that this will turn itself off or I might even just move the pressure the pressure to over here so that we can just feed the tubes around here because that I mean that would probably be the easiest way of doing it um, like if we get some pressure tubes, so if we take some of those and then we put it around this way, um, and then we'll do this like that, yeah, and it will come out that side, and then we will grab this and take this and we'll remove this. Now now there's no pressure in the system so what we'll do is we'll put that down there now this is on a high so this won't actually work until we've got it well that we need it basically so if we knock this crap out here so just access to here right so now you're good right you're on so enable on so low signal so when we need it, we'll need, we'll have it. However, we are going to hook you up to the exports. There should be an export here. Oh no, I left it over there. All right, let's go back and get the export. Might as well get that one over here and that one. All right, let's get this and we'll throw that on here. Like so. Let's get a uh, one piece of coal because that's what we really need put that in there and a stack upgrade and then we'll put one piece of coal in there just to see that it's not working which is good and then we'll put that there so that should keep this now it will oh hang on before we go uh, where is the safety valve there we are there's the safety valve uh, right so that should keep this all running if we require more so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to 200. Oh, okay, I've got this around the wrong way. Um, let's do that and put it that way. Okay, that is still 
doing that that is now connected and that is right is that still got low yeah that's still enabled low so when that turns on this will turn off and also that will turn off um, once this has enough power or enough heat um, it will start running again so that's not too bad all right cool i think that honestly that is the end of the episode right now because it's almost an hour again i mean i love playing this game but jesus christ does it take away some of your days i mean it's in freaking insane only work ignore the redstone signal and we're importing pcbs so we're empty pcbs are being imported we're up to 2.35 bar 2.36 so we could throw another upgrade in there just to get it to drop down look what look now it's dropping down one but it's going faster um so i think we'll leave it at three for now um it will climb steadily and then when it hits that we'll basically vent and keep it going really this one's quite happily that right that's a, that has hit the temperature now there we go and now it's starting to build that up we've got what have we got 111 now so when that gets to 200 that will then turn off so we're all good okay so we've got our lubricant we've got our speed upgrades which is good we've got enough pressure over there which we're going to go and check 4.4 that means the tablet is is not full yet tablet isn't full okay that's fair enough uh, but what we are going to do is turn that off um, we do not want this tank getting too high and maximum pressure is five we're going to leave it at four point four point whatever it is um, these should be all right they've just started a new cycle so they should be finished soon but we shouldn't get above four and a half i wouldn't have thought all right anyway I have been Synthesis. You have been awesome. Laters.